Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self-hatred fades eventually. Just one pickup to go. At the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry? There was until the Navy sent it to the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there, waiting for another one that never came. So there's a settlement there? Head east and you'll find it. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water. Oh, I see what's going on here. See, it's all a part of the rice mission where I'm supposed to go around and collect things for him, but... They're also introducing me to a bunch of different safe areas where people live, which means that I have more opportunities for side quests like this one. Any guess how those infected got through the fence? Guess? I know exactly how they got in. That masked nut job soared through the husp. Who are you talking about? They call him Gas Mask Man. He lives outside. He's crazy in the head. So he wears a gas mask all the time, like it's going to protect him. And you're sure it was him? One of the guards saw him cut the hasp and run off. Someone's got to do something about that guy. Well, yeah, that's pretty bad. Let's go ahead and track that. All right, holding up the track. Did I turn my flashlight on on accident? Yes, I did. Okay, so, find Gas Mask and talk to him. Yeah, let's go for it. That seems like a reasonable goal. If someone's sabotaging this place and filling it with zombies, that's not good, after all. I may be working for Rice right now as a root, being a ruthless scumbag that collects money from people that frankly need it more, but I'm also here for the government or an organization of some kind. I'm the GRE. Uh, so it makes sense that I would take the moment to help out in more meaningful ways along the way, even if I'm being a pain in the ass, because no one benefits from having a whole settlement getting wiped out because some asshole likes to break locks and be generally a crazy person. So how long are, first of all, how long of a run are we looking at here? Oh, it's gonna take me a little while. Nope, survivor's in trouble, I got this. Get him off. Hey, hey, go play with the spikes, go play with the spikes. There you go, ha ha, that'll work for you. Hey friend, gimme. Got a reward, juggernaut upgrade. Is this, is this where I'm going for too? Yes it is. So uh, you may, so on, uh, you may have noticed that I, I cut out some of the more uneventful runs where there's no dialogue happening and stuff. And someone said uh, that they would like to watch, they wouldn't mind watching the runs. I don't need to cut them out. But it's all, it's not just for you guys. It's also for me. I don't always want to just try to, as a commentator. Oh, don't hurt myself. Okay, I'm fine. I don't always want to get hurt when uh, I mean not hurt. I always want, I don't always want to try to come up with commentary while I'm awkwardly running across an open field and nothing's happening rather just skip to the part where I get there. Battle journal number seven. Okay. Let's do some reading right after I search this thing. Five dollars. That is not exciting. Okay. Marvin Zucker's battle journey. Entry number seven. Okay. So you've heard me talk about volatiles. And if you're unlucky enough or, or dumb enough, you've seen one or two yourself. Well, this is important. You can hide from volatiles in the water. It always works. I'm serious. Dive below the surface and wait a few seconds and they just wander off. Guess their senses, their senses aren't strong enough to find you underwater? Or maybe they just have really short attention spans. I don't care. I just know it works. I also know I need to do more cardio because my lung capacity is just terrible. I like this Marvin Zucker guy. He's very handy at giving pro tips for how I'm going to survive out here. Although I will say, them, them wandering off whenever you go underwater doesn't necessarily sound like a... That kind of sounds like a glitch. <laughs> like... Techland's famous for making glitchy games, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was the straight-up exploit they found in testing, and they're like, eh, we could reprogram the AI and fix this problem, or, or, we could just, you know, make a journal explaining it like it's a feature. That'd be cool, Leo. I think, is this door gonna work, or is, or I'm gonna have to use the sliding door? Can I interact with this? Nope. Okay, door. Yeah, it's never that easy, is it? All right. Hopefully I can, uh, I can slide that open. Stay where you are. Shakur is not taking visitors today. If Shakur didn't want visitors, Shakur shouldn't have sabotaged the fence at the fishing camp. What? What are you talking about? That wasn't Shakur, that was Gas Mask Man. You're Gas Mask Man. Me? You're insane. Why would you think that? Because you're wearing a gas mask? But you have been tricked, my friend. 
This saboteur was an imposter who makes himself to look like me. So you will be angry at Shakur. But Shakur knows who did this. Shakur saw him without his mask. So you're saying you saw someone disguised as you? I watched him from behind the rocks. He did not see Shakur, but Shakur saw him. Well then Shakur better tell me who it is. No. <laughs> My information is far too valuable. If you want to know what Shakur knows, then first you will do a thing for me. Then I will tell you. We're not negotiating, Shakur. Of course not. Shakur tells you what to do, and you must obey. Now, obey Shakur. And what exactly does Shakur want? There's a lake nearby. My treasure bag fell out of the boat and was lost in the water. You must be like a fish and bring it back to me. Go! Be quick! I wouldn't be totally on board with the idea of uh, negotiating with Gas Mask Man, who, who I'm pretty sure is, I'm pretty sure he's, he's completely responsible for what happened. But, uh, you know, <laughs> he has a rifle. All things considered, I don't think I'm super prepared for, uh, can I break this? How much reason do I guess? Okay. Uh, all things considered, I think his rifle beats my small hammer, so... I have to go for a swim to find a bag, I suppose. Oh, there's an airdrop again. There's an airdrop very frequently, isn't there? Is there a... Is there a lung capacity meter? I don't see one around, exactly. How am I gonna find a bag down here? It's really hard to see. This would be a really bad time to find out that this game has zombie sharks, by the way. <laughs> I am so not cool with underwater. Getting, un getting attacked underwater makes me really uncomfortable. Ooh. It's going deeper. How is this going deeper? Oh, treasure bag. And an ore. Why not? Treasure bag? Alright, let's get back up as fast as possible before I drown down here. Come on. An ore's gotta be a terrible weapon, right? <laughs> but I am kind of amused that it was there. Okay. I'm at the surface. Alright, just gotta paddle- Oh, this wasn't too bad. The lake's like right next to the camp. No big deal. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure where my lung capacity is shown, if anywhere. Maybe it was that stamina meter, but that might have been ha because of something I was doing too. But anyway, I got the bag and I got an ore, so I don't know how. I don't know if a, an ore is probably not any good at all, but it doesn't hurt to have new things to throw at people. Uh, by the way, I found out about a duping glitch in this game. I probably won't use it because I generally don't. For, like, I also know about a duping glitch in Dragon Age that I have not used. Uh, apparently, in this game. You saw an, you probably saw an, uh, there's an upgrade where you can throw a weapon. If you throw a weapon, then pause it right when you're in the middle of the throwing animation, and then I, that was not me doing anything for effect. That was an accident. <laughs> if you uh, pause the game midway through the throwing animation and then drop that weapon, then you'll throw the weapon and drop it at the same time, making two of that weapon. So that's neat. Haven't tested it, but it sounds like it's a real thing. All right, I've got your bag. Why couldn't you get it for yourself? Shakur can't swim. Now, first the bag. Then I tell you who is Shakur Imposter. All right. Okay, Shakur, tell me what you saw. First, the Imposter sneaks out of the village. He's very quiet like a master spy. Then he puts on a mask. Then he sneaks back to the gate. But now he is very noisy so the guard will see him. Then he cuts the lock and runs away. Did you recognize him? He looked crazy to me. Nothing like Shakur. But do you know who he was? Of course. He's one of the fishermen, the one who's disguised as Shakur. All right. I'll check it out. By the way, Shakur, what was in the bag? My air. My precious, clean air. No, I can breathe again. What? Does that mean he no longer can I take the bag back? That'd be funny. <laughs> it sounds like he no longer, uh, oh, is this no longer a save zone? No, this, oh, it says entering and leaving over and over again now. Ah, uh, that was peculiar. Anyway, it looks like we have to head back and we have to try to investigate who the murder, who the, not the murder, who the, who's, imp who's impersonating Gas Mask Man? Shakur. Anyway. He's been wearing his mask all the time because he didn't have his air, and now I've got him his air, so maybe he'll stop wearing his mask. 
Then maybe he can be reassimilated into society because people won't recognize him without his mask or something. I don't know. Just, just making thing, just making things up at this point. Oh, there's a there's a thing over here. Oh shit, you're in trouble. I got your I got you, buddy. Oh, that was a pretty nice hit, wasn't it? Oh, we're getting progress here. You're not gonna grab me. This is called co-op mode, motherfucker. You guys got him? I think they got him. I don't really want to use any more any more durability on this guy. I'll kick him. Kick. There we go. Good job, guys. How you guys doing? I didn't think we had a prayer until you turned up. You showed them. Take it as a token of gratitude. Excuse me, I saved both of you? Why, why is only one of you rewarding me? How dare you? I just run up and... What? They ran in two different directions. Oh no, tech land. You made a dumb AI moment. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, they probably didn't plan in advance. They, they probably didn't coordinate the idea very well of having multiple... Multiple uh, survivor sur uh, rescue missions. But yeah, that's pretty awkward. Both survivors just ran off in a random direction. It's like, if they were in a group fighting zombies, they were presumably working together. So <laughs> seeing them run in two completely different directions is kind of baffling. Anyway, we're back here. Let's see what we can find out about the Shakur situation since he claims he didn't do it. I don't know why we're believing him necessarily. That may not be an entirely reasonable thing to do, but let's see what the guard says. How many people have keys to open the gate? Just a few. Tom, Gersel, or Musa. Thanks. Now we can talk to Tom, Gersa, and Musa, apparently? Well, oh, search their houses. That's a little... Oh, look, everything's open up now. Oh, this is neato. So after I left, I saved the whole area, and then I left, and now everything's all open now. Blueprint spiked collar? Hell yeah, I wanted a new blueprint. Let's do a little bit of exploring in these buildings for potential rewards. Wicker basket that I can't open. Lots of stuff I can't interact with, unfortunately. What about the bathroom? Does anyone live here? Like, no one's... Oh, a note. Note number 10. Alrighty then, I will take that. Anything around here, though, besides that? Nope. Still, worthwhile collectibles around here. Note number 10. Hey, Asif. Guess what I just... Guess what I just bought? Right! A new fishing rod. Okay, it's not new. It's from from a sea beam, Flexmaster Two, and it's in great shape. I bought it off Omar Boss for sixty-five dollars. Guess he needed some fast cash. He also just pawned his reel, which is a really great reel. But I'm still happy with my World One Six Fifty Blue Knight, so I'll let that one go for now. As for the rod, I'm putting my name on it. I wish I didn't have to, but I, but if I don't, Omar will be whining on my doorstep trying to make me sell it back to him for half price. But with my name on it, I might as well have snapped it in half. Anyway, need to, we need to go fishing soon, but I'm a little under the weather now. This weird kid bit me the other day, and I think he, it made me kind of sick. Should be up around soon enough. Hope this thing isn't contagious, Rashun. Oh, the irony. The literal definition of irony that is happening right there. Irony is, of course, a pet peeve for a lot of people, because people are like, oh, I was at the mall, and you were at the mall too. That's so ironic. I'm like, that's called coincidence. That is not what irony means, but I, thank you for trying. But generally, it, it, oh, player stash. Oh, that's my bed and stash, apparently. Just kind of here into the, the balcony. Hey, I've seen you out there running. You're with the tower, aren't you? Listen, could you help me? I do it myself, but I haven't eaten or slept in days, and I'm just plain exhausted. What kind of help do you need? I'm supposed to deliver medicine to some sick folks. I'd wait till I'd had a meal and a nap, but the stuff would spoil by then, see? It has to be fast. Ah. Alright. Oh, it's a challenge. That's interesting. Okay. I'll look into that in a bit. First, I need to, I need to progress with what I'm already doing. Uh, search Tom and Grussell's house. Oh, so that must have been a house that I... I must have just searched a house. Are they gonna, am I going to be able to get inside? Weird. I had to toggle it closed before I could toggle it open, even though it was already closed. Note number nine. All right. I know how to find you. Gersel, final warning. Excuses don't cut it with Tahir, so they don't cut it with me either. You can't tell me it's just not working. You have to make it work. You're in charge, so it's your job. The fishermen don't want to pay tribute? Are you kidding me? Get your people in line, Gersel. That little village of yours could become a smoldering ruin in a few hours. You say your people don't think they need our protection. 
Don't they get it? The one thing we protect them from is us. And believe me, they need protection. Tahir says a real Tahir has a real dim view of this kind of problem. He likes to make examples. Do something, anything. But get your people in line and do it fast. Kareem. Dun dun dun. Gotta do your shit. Yeah. First of all, you guys clearly need protection because you guys lost your entire town and completely fucked up. But in addition to that, uh, yeah. I don't know how you don't pick up on the fact that this is a straight up like mafia situation, so you ha you don't work with us? Okay. Well we kill you. Oh, there's a gas mask. Really? Gursa did this? Oh Gersel, you naughty naughty boy. You've been up to no good and I'm going to have to ruin you. Are you Gersel? You're not Gersel at all. You're some woman. Are you oh is that Gersel? Gersel, we have a discussion to have. What can I do for you, Crane? You sabotaged the gate, Gersel. You let the infected into the village. Me? He was the crackpot into the mask. The, the guard saw him. Yeah, but someone else saw you. Who? What is he? Show me. Well, there's also the mask I found in your hut. Yeah, well, what was I supposed to do? The village didn't want to pay tribute to Rice, and Rice was getting impatient. That's why he sent you, right? So you allowed an attack on your own people? I had to convince them that they needed Rice's protection. It did the job, didn't it? So what the hell do you care? Now Musa wants to put a bullet in Gas Mask Man. And that's a problem? Yeah, make sure it doesn't happen or you'll be explaining why you allowed Infected into the village. All right, all right. I'll talk to Musa and the guard. Well, we just saved Shakur's life, apparently. Because he was being used as a scapegoat. That's kind of, that's a little bit dark. All right, oh, talk to Musa. I'm supposed to talk, why am I talking to Musa? You talk to Musa, He's, you're the guy that he has reason to believe. Why would, would, he, he would, I feel like he would just disregard what I say. Oh well. All right, gas mask man won't be bothering you anymore. Did you put a bullet in him? No, that wasn't necessary. After what he did? Look, you may not like it, but murdering people is still kind of a big deal. If you decide it isn't, you and me are gonna have some problems. No problems, mister. I just got mad. I never hurt anybody. Thanks for talking to him. Hey, reward champion weapon upgrade. I'll take that. Alright. We success- ooh, and we get a survivor rank. That's awesome. What do I get to buy this time? I can go for bartering skill... Booster increase? I don't even really make boosters. Uh, electric fences. Learn how to use electric fence traps. Oh. Interesting. I didn't know you could trap people with them. And lucky repair. Get better repairs. Repairing a weapon will often not use a weapon repair slot. Absolutely. That just seems like a long-term investment. I have to repair... Whenever you wear down one of these items, like this uh, claw hammer, for example, which admittedly doesn't have very high damage and maybe getting outclassed by other pieces of equipment I have, uh, you can only repair them a handful of times. Four repairs, one repair, zero repairs. So that's how it goes. So, if repairing, if you can manage to repair them without using up a slot, that means you prolong the life of it, which means you're more likely to have it long enough to get more powerful drops along the way. Let's see. 56, 46. Yeah, this claw hammer is not worth keeping around. I'm just going to have to dismantle it. Alright, yeah, it's, it's not worth repairing if I have so many things that are more powerful already. But yeah, if you're, 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 you're hoping that whatever weapons you pick up are going to last long enough that they will, uh... You want your, you're hoping that your weapons last long enough to, for you to get better weapons as drops. So if you if you get the, the uh, repair skill like that really early in the game, you're just increasing your overall inventory quality for the rest of the game because good things are going to last longer and in turn last long enough for you to get other good things. A French wrench, 36 damage. You can get out of here. I have progressed beyond that point now. I am beyond you. 40 is actually not very good for a baseball bat either. I'm, I'm just going to clear that out. Because I have four pretty good th things in my inventory, and then I have a, a fair amount of, wow, 211 damage. I have a fair amount of uh, backup items in my inventory, too. And goddamn, that rebar is dangerous, but unfortunately, it's just a shitty piece of concrete on a stick, so it breaks apart pretty quickly, no matter what you do. Oh, I can craft a medkit. Absolutely. That'll make, a, that'll make two more medkits. I see it as a priority to craft medkits, because that's the number one thing that keeps me alive, assuming I don't manage to get instant killed. All right. Shops and Quartermaster have new inventory, presumably because of my progress there. So... 
Looking at this real quick, there's a there's a challenge. Challenge, family, do family doctor. I think I'm gonna avoid challenges for now. Just because I feel like they might. Ah, yeah. I'm gonna, oh, there's another one down here. Ultimate weapon. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid challenges for now. I'm gonna head, I'm gonna head out towards the next uh, objective for a pact with rice before I continue. Because I figure this is this game is RPG mechanics where you level up your character and you become more powerful. So I'm gonna have much, much better hit rate on challenges if I wait until later in the game when I have better stats and abilities overall. I figure why, why waste time committing to those kinds of challenges when I could just come back, say. 10 hours later, or some other random number that I'm pulling out of my ass, uh, in this playthrough, when I'm much more capable of handling them right off the bat. I didn't really need to dive, but he really went straight underwater immediately. Should be this, this the other village? It looks like a village. It's hard to tell which places are still, which places still contain people and which places are empty now. Gotta be getting close though. Oh, that looks pretty maintained. That gate's closed. Maybe these one. Maybe I won't have to fight my way through this one. This is. By the way, incredibly blue water. I've never... Kind of seems unrealistic, actually. I've been to some really tropical, pretty areas where you have surprisingly clear water. Don't remember it being that distinctly blue. Oh, well. Hey, friend, don't shoot me. Just coming over the wall. There we go. Can we talk? Sir? Oh, pff, that was embarrassing. Hang on a second. Thank goodness you didn't notice my embarrassing moment there. Would you like to talk, buddy? Can we have a dis- Alright, he doesn't- He doesn't want to talk. I'm so sorry. I'll move on before he gets frustrated with my presence. Uh, hello, friend. We're gonna make a pickup for Rise. Back already? We just paid off, you bloodsuckers. <sighs> Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rise said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it gonna take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire. Jesus Christ. You people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. And hey, for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it, aren't you? Ah. Uh. I'm doing it for my own people at the tower. We all got people, right? But hey, at least, uh, at least my strong arming tactics are working. Okay, Kareem, I made the collection at the ferry station, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now, come back and claim your prize. Good job today. The good news is, at least my, uh, oh, hey, more experience there. That's nice. Five thousand's a lot. Uh, the, at least I, uh, I don't know, at least my strong arm tactics and being a general dick are working. So at least it's worth it, I suppose, maybe. I'm Neil Fallon. I'm a journalist for International Affairs magazine. Yeah, I've heard of you. You have? How the hell did you get in here? It wasn't so hard during the first few days of the quarantine. And when they put Suleiman in charge, it was pretty clear how things were going to go. So you decided to stick around? Actually, I've decided to leave. Though God knows how that's going to happen. I've been in some lockdown cities before, but there's usually someone you can bribe. Not here. I can't get you out of Haran. I'm not sure anyone can. No, of course. But I've been documenting this place pretty much from day one. I've interviewed hundreds of... Well, people who aren't people anymore. Suleiman has a lot to answer for. The world needs to know what's happened and... Look, I'm kind of desperate here. I've lost my work, all of it. I was holed up at an internet cafe when a mob of infected landed on me. I got out without a bite, but I left my satchel at the cafe. And everything's in the satchel? Most of it. They chased me for a while, so I finally had to ditch my camera in a car. Look, I know it's a lot to ask. Right, even if I recovered them, you still don't have a way out of here. Mister, if I can't get my work back, there's no reason for me to get out. Oh, that cafe's in a bad area. I'll... I'll think about it, but no promises, okay? Yep, I'll do it. We're gonna get us 5,000 more survivor experience. That's good to have. That is a very fat sleeping man with a very pointy shoulder blade. What's going on with his back? That that character model is not supposed to be in that position. Gross. Oh, 
There's my sleep. My sleeping spot if I want to get a nighttime multiplier and generally have a harder time. But yeah, at least I get an opportunity to help people along the way. I should really check back, uh, probably off camera, at that uh, tower to see if I could have helped those people too. And when I first was sent to the tower and there was two people bickering there. Or anywhere else that I've been sent to help out with people. Uh, because I'm, I'm more than... More than happy to look into every side quest as I, as I find them, even if it makes the story go slower. Because it'll just make me more prepared to fight various things when I'm, if I'm a little leveled. And, frankly, these little mini-encounters are often more entertaining. Dear Lord, it's so far away! Is that two new quests? Oh, hey. That area just to the south has even more quests all of a sudden. Those were not there, those were not there a second ago. Poisons, Herbs, and Midnight Bride. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to town. I might as well check in on some of those new quests that just suddenly popped up. Rather than running all the way down to the internet cafe, which I can... I can pick up on that later. What's going on here? We have a shop. We'll see what they have. I can sell at the very least. Let's go down a bit. It'll give me some more inventory space, right? I have cigarette. I have coffee. And cigarettes. So that'll make things a little bit better. Oh, and a pouch. There we go. Making more money, we're up to 1300 which is, which is not great. But I could be doing worse for sure. Interesting. You can, you can buy... You can buy these uh, upgrades for relatively cheap. A hundred, a hundred and fifty... Yeah, I'll buy... I'll be... Champion... Yeah, increase everything by one... By one? That seems worth... That seems worth a hundred and fifty dollars. That's a pretty reasonable increase to power for some of these items. Wow, I was getting gouged at the other place, wasn't I? Look at this. 73, this thing does 73 damage as a baton. And it's not even upgraded. And uh, it's only $500. I spent $3,000 on something like that before. I guess prices must be getting better as I become more powerful. What's going on here? Oh, it's it's this, this hammer's damaged apparently. I was going to say like it's... Didn't it's oh, oh, this one has better handling. This one has better damage slightly. I think I'm gonna grab this police baton. Yeah, just to have stuff in my inventory that's... Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Bye back. That's... That's so embarrassing. I'm sitting here being like, Wow, look at these great prices! That's the sell screen. That's where I sell stuff for my... God damn it. Uh... Yeah, let's buy... Let's buy back. I'm a fucking idiot. I, I just lost track of the fact that I was still on the on the sell screen, so I'm like, Oh, look at these great prices! I can just buy this and that, it's no big deal! But fucking selling my stuff instead of buying new things. I am so stupid! I'll buy a couple med kits. Oh, you only sell two. Well, all done, now they're all mine. Yeah. How do you f yeah, everything's back to being super expensive. <laughs> hey! Blueprint, all-purpose toxic striker. Adds toxic to any melee weapon. What does toxic do for a zombie? Oh well, gonna head back to the other town to pick up some more quests, I think.